Salutations, spooks, spirits, and specters, and welcome back to Clanad, Katomi's Route, where Tomoya has finished cleaning up the garden and is now going down a path of his own memories of everything that happened between him and Katomi. <clears throat> North Pole is the name of the Her mother, who was in the garden hanging up the laundry, gently taught us. She was wearing her usual bright white apron. She was always smiling. I was envious. This is what I wanted most in the world. Hey, Kotomi-chan. The weather is so good, so Tomoya-kun to go to the house. Katomi always looked troubled whenever she was told to do that. <laughs> she wouldn't budge. Her mother sighed and looked into, looked into Katomi's face. It's not scary at all. I said that as someone who came from outside. So, ne? Tomoya kun wa totte mo ii ko. Kotomi chan wa komatta san. Watashi komatta san janai mo. Osoto wa ikitai kedo. Mata kondo ni suru no. After she said that, her mother burst out laughing. I didn't understand what was so funny. <coughs> she brought us a freshly baked sponge cake and some mysterious tea that smelled like flowers. Let's eat. After repeating after her, I picked at a slice in the middle. She said that with more confidence than when she recited the flowers' names. <clears throat> On cold days, we read together. I knew right away that she was different from the other kids. She easily read books with difficult words and kanji characters. Her smile was tinged with pride when she said that. Her favorite book was this brand new. Really nice looking book with a brown leather cover. She said her father bought it for her when she entered elementary school. I found it boring because it was too difficult to read. Noticing that I wasn't having any fun, she asked me that while tilting her head to one side. I don't get it. <clears throat> this is too hard. Tomoya 
ろんなことを覚えられたらとってもとっても素敵ともやくんはそう思わない Yeah, I guess. She smiled at me despite my half hearted answer. She really looked happy. Ah, so da. Ee koto mo itsui ta na. Steki na tokoro dake yomu na. Oboeru made nando mo nando mo. So suru to ne. Go hon ga na kute mo. いつでも思い出せるようになるのだからねまた初めから She started reading her favorite parts awkwardly I tried to follow along I felt like a terrible student She was diligent and kept trying to teach me again and again 今度ね私のお誕生会があるの。She told me that with the setting sun shining on her cheeks. We were tired from playing and were sitting down, looking out at the garden. それでね、ともやくんにも来てほしいの。How many people will be there? <coughs> I didn't want to meet people I didn't know. She said that proudly. Who's the last one? <laughs> you don't call that a party. I told her that secretly feeling relieved.、Huh? Parties have lots more people. She started looking sad after I said that. So, man, to. Demo, a tanjo kai nano. A to san ga ne, o ki na kuma no no ikuru mi o presento s t e k u r e no. お母さんがね、たくさんごちそうを作ってくれるの。それから。I have to go home soon.It was getting dark out and I stood up.Maybe it was because I felt envious as she spoke so proudly of her parents.I put on my shoes and socks, then walked across the garden. ともやくん、また明日。She said that to me as usual. I might not come tomorrow. And just as usual, that's how I responded. She looked straight at me and seemed to be thinking about something. Huh? That was the first time she said something like that. I thought to myself that I'd better give her a present. Her birthday. I didn't have anything she would like, and I couldn't buy her anything. I decided to bring her some friends. She might be happy even if I were the only one there. Even if I came alone, I could celebrate with her even if I didn't bring her a present. But I had to do something for her. I went around to all the girls in the neighborhood. I told them about a beautiful garden, delicious sweets, and a slightly strange girl. I invited them to a birthday party that was coming up. 
The girls all smiled, albeit a little uneasily, but none of them agreed to go. I told my usual friends. They teased me because I was playing with girls. I went all over talking to anyone I knew. Everyone turned me down. After my very last friend declined, I realized that the sun had already set. I figured her birthday party would already be over. I was too ashamed to face her. With heavy feet, I walked home. Tears welled up in my eyes at the sounds of my lonely footsteps. I really liked her. <coughs> Midnight passed, and I still couldn't fall asleep. After my father went to bed, I snuck out of the house. I felt I had to apologize for not going to her party. I felt I had to apologize for not getting, giving her a present. And I have to apologize that the video is going to have to come to an end here. But we will continue this next time. So thank you all very much for watching. And ciao for now. Ciao for now.